Bum 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 King to the come we to turn car man ba 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 da 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 na 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 ba ba a la 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 na 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 a la na 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 ba na 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 ba Bum 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 bum. So hi guys and welcome to a new episode on this channel. And today, well, today we will be talking about King Tutankhamun. So let's just get started. Now this is the mask of King Tutankhamun. We do know a vague picture of how King Tutankhamun would look like, but not good enough. But we do know where he lived in ancient Egypt at the Egyptian、uh, Empire, and this Egyptian empire. Whoopsie! This Egyptian empire is awesome, awesome, and it's been the heart of a civilization of trade for years. Here, let's trade. All right, what do you want to trade for? Gold for the for the water. All right, and this would happen. Yay, gold. Water, yippee! And literally, that's how it works. Well, and the good thing was that they could trade anywhere because of this, this little system. Since the Egyptian civilization was on the Nile River, which was long, and it went through the whole empire, you could just sail from one side, way to the other side. So, like, if you're on the Upper Egypt, but you want to trade with someone, actually. But you want to trade with someone who is in Lower Egypt, yippee! And you want to trade,、oh. you want to trade gold for for some tools, for some salt. Then this is what you would do: you travel all the way here, whoopee! And then, and then that guy's like, okay, let's trade, let's trade. Okay, slap, and then you guys would exchange your stings. He gets gold, you get salt, and then you make your journey all the way back up the River Nile, which is actually possible here, and take your salt with you. Salt, and win win, and that's how it worked. But now, who is King Tut's father? Well, we don't really know. But there is one person we do know that may be King Tut's father, King Amenhotep, and King Amenhotep was a bit disastrous. And let me explain. King Amenhotep was the king, was a pharaoh before King Tutankhamun, and he may have been the pharaoh and、uh, the father of King Tutankhamun. But this is what actually happened. When he ruined, he was like Akhen should be the only god in the whole wide universe. Whoever does not follow his worshipness, then he will die. And if he doesn't listen to me, who I who I am as his messenger, then they will die. And everybody was like. Hey, he's just a lasso effect. So they decided to try something on him. So they decided to try something on him. They tried to get rid of him, and they were almost successful. They did take a few of them off, but eventually he died anyway. Whoopo! He eventually died anyway. And that's how it worked. And as time has progressed, King Amenhotep did die for that matter. No, I cannot move. And when King Tutankhamun back then called King 
tutan akan tutan akan they were they were everyone was like yay king tutan akan and he was like no i do not want my name to be king tutan akan i want it to be changed into king tutan common and that name stuck and everyone's like yay to king tutana common tutan common king tutan common and everybody cheered but he was back then just seven years old so he needed a bit of guidance to be able to rule egypt and to be able to do that has to have some particular specific specific features yeah, firstly, he needed a council of advisors who actually did the ruling for him. And they were like, do that, or do this, or do that again, or do this again, and do this again, and so on, and so on, and so on. And he, his whole house was had all these men. Had all these men. And all of these men seemed a bit, like, good. And if Tutankhamen was able to live to the age of a good man, then he would have been able to become a wise ruler or something. But he died when he was just 18 or 19 years old. So we're not sure how he died, though. And that is still a mystery today, which is like the last piece of Tutankhamen. The last piece of Tutankhamun is missing. And we, the only way we can last with here is to be able to fit it all the way to the rest of the pieces. It's like, in, it's like the piece needed to be dragged there with, with absolute certainty so that it will fit. And as long as we've been in rain, there has been a few things that came into mind for that matter. But there are a few mysteries that are still happening today. And his mother may have been the Queen Nefertiti, but we'll move on to that later. And King Tutankhamun was crowned king, and while he was reigning, he just reversed a few laws and built a few statues back and back again. And when he died, he was turned into a mummy. He was turned into a mummy. Oh! And for 3,000 years, he became a lucky one and wasn't even robbed at all. Actually, he was robbed a little bit, but police were able to chase them away. They're like, drop everything you have and run as much as you can. And they dropped most of so Like, this is what they originally planned to do. Steal all the gold. Steal this amount of gold. But when the police arrived, hey, I'm police. Stop that. And the police arrived, they were like this. Abandon all, almost all the gold. Take a bit of gold with you. Go away. And the police were able to chase them away without most of the gold. So the gold was still safe. But everyone literally forgot about it for 3,000 years until Howard Carter came into the rescue. Hey, hey. He was like a little lasso man for that day. And when he was like last uh, himself, he was trying to figure out a new tomb. And everybody was like, when everybody found as all the tombs that are possibly and remember to find, they're like, nah, this must be old tombs. But the Howard Carter came in and rescued them all by getting a bit of a ship. And then he dug and dug until he found the entrance. And there he found King Tutankhamun's treasure. And then King Tutankhamun himself. But one mystery still remains. One, the one mystery that everyone still asks today is this. How did King Tut die? And that is still a mystery to this day. And even with the best state-of-the-art technology, we still can't figure that out. And because of that, we sometimes unrely ourselves to the weakest potential. But in any ways, there are some things that could happen for us. And even this may be a big mystery, 
We still need to figure out that. And then King to the Common might have his end of the story. Or we might find out something else about the story. Oh, and by the way, there is no Curse of the Mummy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Share and out, and peace.